up guys and welcome to another episode of Insta360 TV Lockdown. I'm Hannah and if you are still on lockdown or you're practicing responsible social distancing, this one is for you or anyone that wants to get creative. Today we are doing light painting, but we're gonna do three different variations, ranging from really, really basic, we're gonna do one version with the 4K mod, and we're gonna do a third outdoors, slightly more experimental, so there's something out there for everyone. For each variation, we're gonna talk you through all the details that you need to know, as well as show you some examples that we've captured whilst doing this experiment. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it. So shot number one is easy for absolutely anyone. All you need is a really dark room within your house. And I mean pitch black, because you don't want any light contamination that will ruin the effect. All you're gonna need is your tripod, your selfie stick, your 360 mod, because we're gonna do a tiny planet effect, and a smartphone. There's a bazillion apps out there, but we use one called Sprite Brush. It basically gives you a variety of colors to choose from, and it illuminates the screen using only that color. And that's what we're gonna use for the light painting. So we'll show you a little bit of the setup and the movement to do with that. And here is the shot that you can get from the comfort of your own home. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> so that's another top tip. If you're gonna have a subject in the picture, you need to make sure that they stay incredibly still, otherwise they're gonna have a really pixelated face and it ruins the effect. So now we're gonna show you how to run for using the smartphone for your light painting. Because we're shooting in 360, the, your runner is gonna need to cover a lot of distance, i.e. going around the camera and also around the subject. So my main man Gabby is gonna show you exactly how to do that. And let's get ready to roll. Start with the palm behind her, and then I rotate. Run the camera with the phone always facing the camera. And I finish on your back till the camera stops. Thanks, Gabby. Bellissima. Uh, and that is another note. Um, so f to make your model stand still as possible, the highest you can go for shutter speed is around 20 seconds. But for all of the examples in this video, we shut put the shutter at around 8 to 20. ISO should always be the lowest at 100. And white balance is up to you because it depends on the environment. So shot number two, because we're using the twin edition, we're gonna throw in a little variation using the 4K mod. So as I said before, with the 360, you need to cover a lot of distance because all the light is contained within the planet, as it were, but with the 4K, it's a fixed frame, so you don't need someone to run around you with the light. So that's why, for example, sparklers are great for this effect. So all you need to do, as before, is stand still and you can draw a shape or write something. It's totally up to you, but because you're standing still and it's a smaller fixed frame, you can actually put the shutter lower as I mentioned probably around four to ten seconds and this is what we got And third, and the most complex, we're gonna be doing outdoor 360 shots. So for this, we're doing light painting and also everyone's favorite, steel wool. Uh, the reason that I'm wearing this is to exemplify, do not wear flammable clothing. This now has a new hole in it. So I learned the hard way, so make sure that you don't. And also, if you can, have a fire extinguisher nearby just in case anything goes wrong with the steel wool. So with the light painting, you know the movement, similar to before, but this time we're not using a smartphone. We're gonna be using a more 
professional grade light. So if you have that at hand, awesome. If you don't, I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoy our shots. And for the steel wool, this is a really key part that actually I did a steel wool video a few months ago and I got this wrong. So every day I'm learning, you're gonna need a whisk, a chain just long enough to swing above your head and then you're going to take the steel wool make sure that you fluff it up just enough so all the particles are nice and loose and then you're just going to insert it from the side at the same part of the whisk get that all inside make sure nothing's sprawling out because that's when it becomes a health and safety hazard this is what the movement looks like and this is our results Now we've got the shots, it's time to edit, which is super, super simple. All you need to do is connect your 1R to your 1R app on your smartphone. And for the 360 shots, you're just gonna play around and you can turn it into tiny planet effect or reverse tiny planet or find it somewhere in the middle. Depends on what you fancy, but it's gonna look pretty trippy anyway. And with the 4K, you've got the shot already. So once you've decided on your angles, you're just gonna export, have it in your album, and you can share it. And when you do share it, don't forget to hashtag Insta360TV and I'll be keeping my eyes peeled. And while you're at it, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification so you don't miss our episodes every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this lighted up your day. That was awful. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one.